Hi everyone, today let's talk about Jerome Powell's comments once again, then we'll talk about 3M, as well as Max Payne, then we'll get into the charts, as well as my results for the day and my thoughts going into tomorrow's session. If you like trading stocks and options and making money, definitely like and subscribe. I make videos like this every single day that the markets are open as well as Sunday, so make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Welcome to the Portfolio Bulletin. Let's get started. So Jerome Powell said that the rates will come at a careful pace from here, which is a little bit more dovish than what we had been hearing. He said we're at least close to where we think our destination is, and it makes common sense to move carefully. He then proceeded to say they raised rates 10 consecutive times very quickly, and they want to make sure that they don't overdo it, which is why they elected to pause this time. Of course, they did talk about at least two more rate hikes, but it does seem like they're going to spread those out at some point in the next year. He also talked about higher capital requirements for banks, saying that banks below $100 billion in assets would not be impacted by new capital requirements, and that it's mostly focused on the banks between $100 billion and $250 billion. This is as a result of those banks going bankrupt, Silicon Valley being the biggest of the bunch, and it would have been impacted by these new rules. I also want to mention 3M as a potential opportunity here. They've come to a tentative deal over their Forever Chemicals, and it's estimated to be $10.3 billion to the U.S. Obviously, this is a ton of money, but it did cause the stock to jump about 4%. Everyone knew they were going to pay a lot of money for these chemicals, but the question was how much, and now that there has been a figure put on this settlement, there's a little bit less uncertainty, and 3M is rallying on that news. Looking at Fed futures, you can see we are still at a high likelihood of getting another hike in July, and that would mean we're looking to get at least one more hike before the end of the year, probably in September or November. Looking at Max Payne for tomorrow, you can see it's at 437. We're right at that level now. Highest call strike, 442. Highest put strike, 430. So right in this range is what it looks like we're going to get a more normal finish between 435 and 440. Put call ratio back down to around two. We now have a little bit more than a million options on the SPY for tomorrow expiration. It does seem like we're going to go up at least a little bit, but still expecting to be generally within this range. Moving over to the charts, you can see what that looks like. We fell into the open, rallied basically throughout the day, got up to those trend resistances. You'd like to see it get at least up to the 21 EMA here on the 4-hour chart, 437.74, or horizontal resistance up here at 439.98. Overall, you have a bullish engulfing candle, expecting to see a little bit of follow through. And then the question is, will this be a reversal pattern on the SPY on the daily chart? You have a peak. And if we get a lower high or a double top, that's going to indicate potential more downside. Momentum still very bearish here on the daily chart. RSI still bullish. Momentum definitely ticking towards bullish here on the four hour chart. It does seem like we're going to get at least a little bit more of a swing up tomorrow. Remember, 440 is the cap for the close, which would be a little bit less than a 1% up move here on the SPY. Moving over to the NASDAQ, very similar thesis, fell down to the 55 EMA, found support. We're back above all the EMAs and SMAs here on the four hour chart after hours. Momentum also ticking towards bullish, looking to see if we get that higher high setup. And then the trend would be continuing here. Does seem like that's going to happen at this point. NASDAQ looked a little bit stronger than I expected. Once we got above 365.80, I started to add to my position to the long side. I did have some longs and I benefited from this rally here today, but looking to push up to 371.25 in tomorrow's session. Daily momentum still bearish. RSI still looks good going into tomorrow's session. Moving over to the Russell and the Dow, I was pretty surprised to see the Russell continue to roll over here despite the bullishness on the SPY and the NASDAQ. We're holding at this level 138.28. If this breaks, I will be out of my long positions, but I am expecting at least a little bit of a bounce from this level. You can see we had that wick rejection. We're rallying a little bit after hours off of that level. I would like to see this move higher along with the other markets. Similarly here on the Dow, gap down below my level, threw some wicks and then got back above it. Momentum moving back towards bullish. Volume was up here today compared to yesterday. And I would expect to see at least a little bit of follow through up to the 21 EMA at 341.27. Moving over to Apple, we got another all time high close. Very bullish on the day, driving markets higher. Momentum back to bullish. RSI back to bullish. Everything looks good here on Apple going into tomorrow's session. Expecting new all time highs, taking out the wicks from Friday of last week. Tesla also showing strength back above 264.68. 
out of that 55 EMA zone, looking to see if we push back up to that 302 area, which I do think is going to happen as long as we can hold above this 264.68 level. Moving over to Microsoft and Amazon, you can see Amazon had a nice push here today on the daily chart, back up to new highs, taking out these previous highs above trend resistance, looks very nice. Most recent highs going back to September of 22 at this point is up around 136, and I would expect to get up to that level before we see any kind of major reversal at this point. Microsoft also rallying off of VWAP and the 21 EMA, looking to get back up to 344.68. Momentum still bearish, but RSI looks good. Moving over to consumer staples and discretionary. Staples continuing this rally back above $74. Bounced off of that 55 EMA yesterday and we're rallying once again, looking for that move to a higher high. Discretionary also back in this zone. You want to see it take out these previous highs to push up to around 170.82 or 171. Momentum looking to move back to bullish. RSI still bullish. And it does look like that break is going to happen tomorrow. Again, as long as Tesla continues to go higher, I would expect discretionary to continue to go higher on this longer term bull trend. Top performing sectors, we got technology back in the driver's seat, as well as communication back above 63.99, looking to push up to 67.90 as long as we can hold above this level. Technology didn't quite engulf that candle. You would like to see it engulf the previous candle and then push back up to 173.52. Momentum, still bearish. RSI, still bullish. Again, looking to see if we set up a lower high or a double top, which would be an indicator of lower prices to come. Looking at breadth, you can see we actually gapped down and it was a pretty weak day. 200 still touching, still above that 144 EMA after touching, momentum still rolling down, 50 day average also rolling down. So we got a rally on stocks, but breadth is weakening now at this point, generally meaning that I'm gonna look for a double top or a lower high setup. And if we see the same thing here on breadth and this starts to move lower, then the rally that we've had is probably done at least for a little bit. Moving over to yields, two-year yield continues to march higher just about every single day. Looks like it's going to take out the highs from this most recent rally tomorrow. Higher for longer seems to be the theme, plus a couple of hikes, and the two-year is pricing that in. Ten-year, still expecting to cut back into this range by the time we get into that time frame, and it continues to hold in this zone right around three and three quarters. Moving over to the dollar here, it seems to have set up a little bit of a lower high now versus this previous consolidation. We had lower prices yesterday with a higher RSI read versus Thursday of last week. Then we had a bullish bounce on the day. And if this continues off of this double bottom type setup, the little bit of an overthrow, that could be a move higher on the dollar, which would be weak for equities. Otherwise, if this comes back up to the 55 EMA and we just get a trend continuation, then we should be in good shape for equities but I'll be watching this one closely here. It's starting to look like a reversal pattern and a higher low setup on the medium time frame. And if that does materialize back up into this previous zone, that could be pretty weak for equities. Moving over to JNK and TLT. JNK not participating in the rally, continues to move lower. 91 is the next level that I would hope to hold. But at this point, we are selling off and it is still accelerating. Momentum did cool down just a little bit here after hours. So maybe we see a bit of a pullback. That would be interesting. But right now, this looks pretty bearish. Similarly on TLT, came up to this 103.70 level, chopped in this zone, and now we're breaking down from that level again. Looks a little bit more bearish than it did yesterday, setting up a lower low. Momentum, definitely bearish now. RSI below the 50 line, looking weak. Looking at volatility, the move index sold off once again. The VIX also sold off after gapping up into the 21 EMA and continues to go lower. So VIX selling off, whether we go up or down at this point, making new lows, still watching that 1177 area, which I would expect to hit before we see any major reversals at this point. Moving over to my accounts, I continue to hold this IWM covered call. I did roll it down to 184 for 51 cents. Can get another 40 cents credit on that tomorrow. I would like to see the IWM bounce basically from where it is right now. Otherwise, I will be looking to exit that position. Otherwise, looking at the queues, I now have 200 shares worth of covered calls up at 365 and 366. 365 covered call 
basically at max profit, has another 40 cents to go before max profit there. 366, quite a bit of room, about another dollar of upside. Then I have these two puts at 365 and, and 364 for about $2 total in credit. So overall looking to make about $350 in tomorrow's session. Made back quite a bit of money versus yesterday. Was down on the markets yesterday and then recouped most of that money here today. Overall, short-term bullish going into tomorrow's session with a little bit of concern here for the IWM looking to potentially break support and go lower. Let me know down in the comment section what you think of Jerome Powell's comments or the 3M settlement. Definitely like and subscribe if you got any value out of this video and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Of course, none of this is financial advice. This is all for entertainment purposes. Good luck in your trading and have a great day.